and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can set up the Pico SDK with our tracked alias and get ourselves some Pico controller representations. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. So we're in the scene where we set up the Oculus integration SDK camera rig. However, I've had to downgrade this project from Unity 2022.2 to Unity 2021.3.21F1, which at time of recording this video is the latest LTS version. The reason for the downgrade in project is because it seems the Pico SDK for Unity doesn't actually seem to work in Unity 2022.2 at present. This may change in the future, so you may be able to do this in Unity 2022.2. However, if you are failing to get a build to work, it's probably that you need to use the earlier version of Unity. So with that out of the way, the first thing we need to do is download the Pico Unity SDK and get it installed in our project. So we'll go to our web browser and go to developer-global.pico-interactive.com and then go to the SDK and find the Unity SDK. And the one we're going to be using is the Pico Unity Integration SDK. This is the main one now that's supported and it works on the Neo 3 and Neo 4 headset. They also do have the OpenXR plugin, but that is experimental and isn't recommended to be used in production at the moment. So all we'll need to do is click download to download the zip file of the Pico SDK package. And when that's downloaded, we're going to put that Pico SDK somewhere in our local project. As it is a Unity package, we then need to use the package manager to add this to our project. So I've just created a folder called Pico Unity Integration SDK, and then I've extracted the contents of that zip file into that folder. As we can see, this is the package contents that we're going to now link into our project via the package manager. So let's go back to Unity and do that. So in Unity, we need to go to Window and then down to Package Manager. And now we need to click on the plus, click the drop down, and click Add Package from Disk. Then all we need to do is browse to our project directory and then browse to where we extracted that Pico Unity Integration SDK package. So I'm here and then we just need to select the package.json and click open. The Pico SDK Unity package contains an old version of the Unity XR interaction package and the Tilia SDK wrapper will update that to the latest version of the Unity XR interaction package. However, because it's an old version, we'll get this message pop up. So we can just click I made a backup, go ahead. And when the Pico Unity SDK has been installed in your project, you'll get the PXR SDK settings window appear and it'll have some options that we need to set. So our current configuration, our build target is already Android, so that's okay. And the user entitlement check is if you want to have a copyright check on your app, you then need to create a Pico developer account on the Pico website create an app for it and then you can type your app ID in here but we're not going to be using that so we can untick that and then the final thing the orientation is already set to landscape left so we're fine with that so we can just click apply and then we can click close and we can just click ignore we don't need this prompt anymore and there we go we've now installed the Pico Unity SDK into our project the next thing we need to do is go and get the Tilia SDK wrapper that wraps the Pico Unity integration SDK for us so to do that we can close our package manager window down and then if we go to window and then down to Tilia and package importer, if we look down the list, we should see the SDK Pico integration. So we can add that to our project by clicking add. And when that's added to our project, we can close the package importer window down. So now we have the Tilia SDK wrapper for the Pico Unity SDK. That gives us a camera rig that we can use in our scene like we did with the Oculus integration one. So in our hierarchy, if we right click, go down to Tilia and then prefabs and then camera rigs, we'll see one now called Camera Rigs Pico Integration. So if we select that, it'll go into our scene. And we can see this Camera Rig has already got the PXR Manager set up, which is required for Pico headsets. And then it's got all the other things set up that are required by the Tilia Tracked Alias. So we now just need to go to our Tracked Alias and just tell our Tracked Alias to listen to our Camera Rig for our Pico Integration. So if we add another element, and then grab, drag and drop our Pico Integration Camera Rig into that new element, and there we go, we've now set up our tracked alias to follow around our Pico integration camera rig. And because we're only building for Pico integration, we don't want to use the Oculus integration camera rig. So for the moment, we're just gonna turn that off. And therefore the tracked alias will only follow the active one in the scene. So the next thing we want to do now is set up the controller visualizations that are provided by Pico. 
So in our Pico camera rig, if we expand that and then expand camera offset, we can see we've got a left hand controller and a right hand controller. These game objects just track the position of where the controllers are. They don't actually give you any controller visualization. So we need to add that from the Pico package. If we go down to packages and expand that and then find Pico integration, expand that. Then if we look in assets, resources, and then prefabs, we can see we've got one called left controller model and right controller model. And all we need to do is grab, drag and drop left controller model into our left hand controller, which is the child of our Pico integration camera rig. And do the same for right controller model, grab, drag and drop that into the right hand controller. And we can see here, it already has the relevant controller models for the Neo 3 and the Neo 4. And there we go, we can collapse that back up now. So we've now set this scene up to use the Pico integration camera rig. And that works with all of the Telia stuff already. So all of the interactions that we've set up, we don't need to reset up. And because we're using the same scene we set up the Oculus integration in, it means our interactors have their meshes turned off still, but they still have those box colliders on, so we'll still be able to touch and pick things up. The next thing we need to do now is just build this and publish to our Pico headset. Before we do that, let's just go and check our project settings to make sure everything is set up correctly. So in project settings, down on the XR plugin management setting, we want to make sure we untick Oculus and we tick Pico. If you have multiple ones ticked, you may find it fails to build for Pico. So it's best just to have Pico ticked and make sure you're in the Android tab. And then if you want to add any additional settings to the Pico, you can go down to the Pico sub setting and change them here. The next thing, let's just double check our player settings. So in player, make sure we've got our company name, our product name and our version set. And then make sure our color space is linear, auto graphics API is ticked. And then if we scroll down a little bit more, make sure our minimum API level is 29 and the target API level is automatic highest installed. The scripting backend can be IL2CPP. And then we need to make sure our target architecture is on ARM64 and ARM v7 is turned off. So all of the settings seem to match the same as we needed for Oculus integration. So that's fine. So we can now close this window down. And now we just need to go to the build menu. So if we go to build settings, and as before with our Oculus headset, if we have our Pico device plugged in, we should be able to see run device and then look down that list and find our Pico headset. And we can select that from the list. And that means we don't have to do build, create an APK, and then push that APK to the headset manually using something like SideQuest. We can just click build and run. And then we need to pick a file name to save our APK to. So I'm just going to call this one Pico test, and then I'm going to click save. And because we're not using the entitlement check, it will ask us if we want to use that entitlement check, but I'm just going to click ignore because I'm not using that. And finally, because we made changes to the scene, we need to make sure we save those. So click save. And then the build process will start. And once this is finished building, it should automatically push to the headset and start running on the headset. So we're now in the scene and we can see we have our controller representations for the Pico Neo 4 and everything else works because we've hooked it up with our tracked alias. So we can look around, we can move our controllers, our interactables and interactors still work. We can pick things up, we can throw them around and there we go. We've set up a new SDK with our tracked alias. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please consider becoming a YouTube subscriber. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.